Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Welcome to downtown Fredonia for this occasion. This started with an idea by a gentleman by the name of Dave Dangler that's standing back here. You know, you notice that the, the people with the great ideas take the back row and uh, say very little, but they're the doers that make things happen. I'd like to um, say just a couple of things before we get in with the, get the program going. And the first thing I'd like to say is uh, Vince Gallo. You know, the Gallo family has a tradition of pride and integrity. And the best thing that I can say about Vince is he's a Gallo. And, and he lives with those attributes of the family. Now, Vince Gallo, when you read the paper and you follow the sports and you see what's going on, every victory belongs to the players. Every mistake belongs to Vince. <laughs> And even when they win the championship, who does he give the credit to? His new coaches, or his coaches. Does he take any of the credit? No. Does he deserve a lot of credit? Yes. So a little round of applause for Vince Fowler. Also today, we're graced with the voice of sports of Northern Chautauqua County. You know, Dan Palmer, they say he remembers you from Little League. I remember recently over here in a conversation, and it's been a little while ago, but he was talking to somebody that played basketball. And they were talking about this one game and the excitement of this one game. And I heard Dan say to him, well, you were a sophomore because you were still wearing the number 15. And I'm thinking, how do you remember that? But Dan Palmer knows the facts, he knows the players, and without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Dan Palmer. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor. Thank you very much. I would like to thank uh, Mayor Keith for inviting me to be part of this uh, celebration, which uh, totally, totally belongs to these kids and the coaching staff and the parents of these uh, wonderful athletes. Um, thank you for all coming here tonight. Um, when I look at that date of uh, June 8th, 2013, that's a date that these young men will be remembering for a long time. It's a date that uh, marks the completion of a long journey for them. A long journey that was not quick and it was not easy. In fact, it began many, many years ago when we were all little boys, eight, nine, ten years of age, playing Little League Baseball. And through the, the great work of great coaches and great support of parents, these young men learned how to play baseball and they learned how to play baseball extremely well. And it was like a family, because these kids, at age 8, 9, 10, I think it's about 7, maybe 8 of them, played on the same Little League team together. And it was like a family growing up throughout the ranks of Little League, into JV, into varsity. And it all culminated with the state championship on that date, on June the 8th of 2013. You're going to remember that a long, long time. I said that word. That journey was, uh, was not quick, it took a long time, it was not easy. The journey had a lot of obstacles as well. The biggest obstacle of all was last year, many of these players playing in Dansville in the Far West Regional Championship game had to take a long bus ride to Dansville, about three hours. And they had to suffer through not only playing a long game, but lightning and rain and darkness approaching. And that, uh, that game ended in a tie. And after that three-hour bus ride and that long day, they had to get back on that bus and ride back to Fredonia and go back another three hours to Dansville, only to play one short inning, a matter of minutes, and suffer heartbreak. But they were so resilient. Those returning players that came back for 2013, they had focus. They had a goal. And that goal was a championship. Nothing short and a state championship they will settle for. And if you ever watched the celebration, when they won the league, they won the sectional, they won the super sectional, they knew there was something bigger. And on that date, June 8th, they had that big goal completed. Let's hear it for this team. <laughs> when, when I look at this team, this team has just about everything that you could want in a baseball team. 
in, in looking at the, the attributes, I see the strength at the middle, catcher, pitcher, center field. They've got the best catcher in all of Western New York. They have not one ace starting pitcher, but two ace starting pitchers. Tremendous pitching. They've got a center fielder and a leadoff hitter who is the heart and soul and the spark plug of the offense. They've got a team that had corner outfielders that made every catch, every hard catch of every line drive. A shortstop, a second base double play combination that was unique. A first baseman who was outstanding with the glove and also became a good hitter toward the end. And a freshman third baseman who stepped up as a freshman and filled that gap that they needed to play the hot corner. A bunch of designated hitters and people who came off the bench never complaining about playing time, but always thinking team first. That is your Federmis State Championship team. <laughs> so, without further ado, I want to introduce Coach Vince Geller, because in 1985, I had the privilege of broadcasting Vince Geller in the first ever Federmia representation of a state tournament team, coached by Pete Cushon, when he played first base. He came back, Won it in 2006, won it as a coach in 2013. He's got some great things to say and some great coaches to thank, as well as these players. Vince? Uh, thank you, Mayor Keith. We appreciate this. Mr. Dangler, thank you. And Dan, of course, you're our number one fan. Uh, I think Dan stole my speech talking about these kids. We went into the year with a great goal, too high of goal if you ask me. Uh, they worked hard. They never gave us a hard time. Uh, they're a class act. I'm so proud of them and what they've done. So proud of this coaching staff. They're all volunteers. They're all residents of the village of Fredonia, given their time. And they made it easy on me. But these kids came to play every game. They set a great example. Uh, I'd like to introduce them now. Uh, if you want to stand up, Jude Gardner. He's our uh, left fielder. Matt Crow, one of our DHs. Uh, Nick Hart, all Western New York. Seth McAfee, one of our DHs. Cody Smith, our outfielder, second baseman pitcher. Colton Haas, uh, one of our DHs. Cam Goss, our outfielder pitcher, first baseman. Noah Voss, our first baseman pitcher. Jared Burmaster, our third baseman. Matt Sheridan, pinch runner, DH. Michael Pucci, outfielder. Tyler DeRusso, outfielder. Chris Saden, first base pitcher. Zach Buckley, catcher. Our two managers, Anthony and Joe Gullo. And probably one of the best coaching staffs ever assembled at the high school level. I mean, this, this staff, with all their experience, is amazing. Uh, we have Greg Smith. Uh, Brent Thompson. Tim Cohen. Charlie Laduca. And Brian Bongiovanni. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. We really appreciate it. Dan? And now for a special moment with uh, Mayor Keith. He's going to read the proclamation, and uh, this is something very special for this uh, very special team. Of course, this is what dreams are made of. 
Whereas the Fredonia High School baseball program, through good leadership and dedicated players, has developed into a formidable powerhouse. And whereas the run, winning rec record in the 2013 baseball season led the team, team to victories in their division, in the Far West Division, and finally in the state championship. And whereas, whereas whether our local athletes are winning or not, we take great pride in supporting their activities as they represent our community. But we share their celebration with this great accomplishment throughout this baseball season. And whereas we also recognize head coach Vince Gullo and his coaching staff for developing the skills, drive, and sportsmanship so that this team could reach its potential. And whereas we appreciate the families, administration, staff, and community members who, have, who all had parts to play to help the 2013 Fredonia High School varsity baseball team achieve its ultimate goal of bringing the New York State <coughs> baseball championship home to Fredonia. Now, therefore, I, Stephen W. Keith, with the power vested in me as mayor of the village of Fredonia, recognize, <coughs> sorry, and express the village's congratulations to the baseball players and coaches of the Fredonia High School varsity baseball team for the 2013 season. Sorry for the for coming. This was a great uh, season for a great bunch of uh, kids here. Now young men to go off to college, the seniors go off to college and, and beyond. And there's only one thing I could say for 2014. Let's do it again. Thank you for coming.